Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a special mani, and this is for Tara, Braves Diva Nail Polish for her anniversary. It's a long one. I'm going to use lots of stampin' plates and lots of colors. I will list them down under each one, and I will try to remember to list them down below. But I'm just pulling up some images real quick so that we can make some decals. And these are little baseball decals. Um, I went through all of my plates and I had one baseball. I'm serious. No bats, no plates, no, no baseball diamonds, nothing. One baseball. So our manis needed to have a baseball or a baseball theme in, in them. And they also needed to have the number one. And we were using polishes from Brave Diva. Um, polish um, in our manicures. So I've used a lot of polishes today, a lot of stamping plates, a lot of stuff. Um, and I am, like I said, I'm going to try to list everything as we go through it. Um, it's a lot. I, you should have seen my table after I got done with this manicure. It looked like a tornado, tornado had hit it. It was a mess. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, Brave Steven Nails she has a YouTube channel and she does a lot of nail art and, um, you know, tutorials and that sort of thing. But she also is an indie maker and she has um, done the amazing thing, you know, jumping over from being a YouTuber to, you know, creating nail polishes. And she's not just making your run of the mill nail polishes, she's making some outstanding nail polishes. So um, April with the Sparkle had the great idea that we would all get together and do something for Tara for her anniversary and um, she pulled a whole bunch of us girls together on Instagram and we're all doing um, manicures now a lot of it might just only be on Instagram and if I get links to everyone involved I will put them down below um, but this was a really big big thing and we really want to congratulate Tara on her you know amazing year because she has come out with just so many beautiful polishes this year and she's got new ones launching right now. In fact, when this video posts, it will her her new polishes will be up on her store. I will leave a link to Tara's channel, April's channel, and um, to Tara's store also down below. And like I said, if I run across you know links to everybody else on Instagram or if they do something on YouTube, I will try to make sure to put them down below as well. I would love for you to go check them all out. But um, I'm just filling these in. I've used a whole bunch of terrace polishes to fill in these little bitty tiny nail polish bottles. And I'm using silver um, for my caps. I wanted it to show up. Now that I've got them done and they're dry, I'm going to run some top coat over them. Um, some super dry. And I'm, I did a little smearing down at the bottom, but you know, it's okay. Stuff happens. So I'm going to let this dry completely before I put it on my nail. I'm going to start off my regular manicure with Nail Teaks Formula 2 and Brave Diva Murph as my base color. And I've topped it off with pure ice to get it to dry. And I've got my liquid latex rocking. So we're going to build up this bullseye. And I'm just using three shades from Tara's line. Um, one's Sunflower Seeds, the other one's Drew, and Murph. I believe those are the three I'm using here on my water marble. And I'm a water marble for four of my nails. And then the other one's just going to have Murph on it because that's, that's going to be my accent now. And I'm not going to show you all of the water marbles. I'm just going to show a couple of them because this is a super long video. It started out almost 30 minutes. Y'all, I'm serious. It was 30 minutes. I had to do a lot of editing, a lot of cutting, a lot of speeding up. So um, just want to throw that out there. I don't want you guys to think that I'm Wonder Woman and can do a manicure like this in such a short time. This took me quite a while to do, but it was well worth it. I was very happy with it in the end and very stoked that I was able to be a part of this. And this is kind of a quiet base. The water marble is not like in your face. I just wanted a water marble background for my you know, decals and my stamping. Um, I kind of wanted to get a little bit of all of it in here because Tara does it all. She does every kind of nail art there is and you know, I wanted to use a, use a lot of her polishes and I'm telling y'all, if you could have seen my desk when this was over with, y'all would just trip. Y'all be like, 
it took longer to clean up the mess than it probably did to do the manicure. <laughs> totally worth it though. And I'm just wiping off that little um, tool, that little water marbling tool in between, you know, rounds and stuff. I'm not dipping it in anything. I'm not, you know, not really clean cleaning it. And now I'm going to go around, because I forgot to take my latex off after each finger got dipped. And so I'm going to go around and bust that seal so that when I pull this latex up, I'm not pulling up my water marble off of my nail. And here we go. Snap. We're going to pull this one off. Nice, clean, clean, clean up right there. And I got very little cleanup to do, but I'm going to go in real quick and do that. So you guys know what a ninny I can be. And here we go. I have pulled out another plate and some more stamping polish. Because this one I'm just going to stamp straight on my nail. I'm not going to make a decal out of it. I'm just going to rock it straight onto the nail. And I'm cleaning up any excess so that I don't get it on my manicure. And this says polish on. And I'm going to go in and grab two little bitty um, polish bottles off of this other plate and add them to the polish on nail. And I am missing the very tops of those bottles. That was my bad. But I will fix them here in a little bit. And this one is congrats. It was actually meant to be for, um, we're going to have to do that one again. It was meant for congratulations for graduations and stuff. And But I'm just going to take the hat smooth off of it and just use the congrats. And I had to use my starry stamper because it's more sticky and squishy. And I'm sorry I'm out of frame, but I had to get this lined up. Make sure it fit on my nail. I'm going to go in and do a real thin, super thin coating of this super dry to make my decal stick because they are dry. I wanted to make sure they were totally dry. I didn't want no warped, smushy baseballs on my nails. So um, I made sure they were really, really dry this time. So I'll put that one on my pointer finger and I'm going to put the other baseball over here. I'm going to try to get it in the middle of my pinky nail. So here we go, it's coming along. We're getting there. Okay, now I'm gonna do that same dry brush kind of just to get a little bit of a tacky layer down with that super dry so that I can get my nail polish bottle decal on there. There we go. And I'm gonna mush it down and flatten it out the best I can. Make sure it's stuck. And I'm gonna do some trimming with my little scissors. Love these little scissors. And now I'm going to use my little pokey tool. <laughs> I don't know the actual name of it. I'm going to try to scrape up, poke holes, and scrape up some of that decal that's hanging over. I love the little tiny polish bottles. They're so cute. But I would like to thank all the other ladies that participated in this and congratulating Tara on her one-year anniversary. And big, big thanks to April with the Sparkle for pulling this together. We really do appreciate it. It's so nice, the support and love that goes through the Snail Polish community here on YouTube and on Instagram. But I'm just doing my little usual cleanup here. I know you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm using my regular cleanup brush and some acetone to just tidy that up and make sure it's, you know, kind of laying flat and that acetone kind of helps smush it. Okay, now I have to do this last one. This is kind of like a surprise and it was a little beer mug and you'll see it in my photo. But Tara kills me every once in a while. She's like, hang on a minute. I got to take a sip of my beer. <laughs> so I had to throw in a Cheers beer mug just for her. So I'm putting my number one on and I'm doing the year YR with an exclamation point. And now you guys are totally seeing exactly why Tina, Moon Baby Nails, does not do freehand. She's not good at it. But I needed a one. And so that's what we did. Yay! We got our number one. One year. It's a milestone. So there we go. 
And now I'm going to fix those little tiny polish bottles, or at least attempt to. Try to put, put the tops on them. Here we go. So that's it. I'm going to top this manicure off with Pure Ice Girl on the Run and seal everything in, all those decals and stamping and hand doing, free handing, and got to break Woody out. So here's my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. I really did have a good time doing this. It was very short notice, but it was a lot of fun. Congratulations, Tara, on Brave Steve Polish turning one year old. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon. Bye.